reading a AP story written by Martin Krutzinger, Yellen foresees continued low borrowing rates. Federal Reserve Chair Janet Yellen said Wednesday that the U.S. economy is improving but noted that the job market remains far from satisfactory and inflation is still below the Fed target rate. Yes, it's far from satisfactory. We are much lower than the number of people that were employed in the 70s, Ms. Yellen. Inflation is still below the Fed's target rate? Well, Ms. Yellen, the reason is is because your Fed uh, inflation rate is a lie. Anyone who goes to a grocery store, who goes and fills up their gas tank, knows that inflation is completely out of control. So what is this inflation? Next paragraph. Speaking to Congress, Joint Economic Committee, Yellen said that as a result, she expects low borrowing rates will continue to be needed for a considerable time. What that means is she's going to continue on the same policy that they've had since 2008, which has done absolutely nothing but put money in the hands of the extremely rich and the banks who consider continue to pump money into these weird notes that mean nothing. Like, for instance, I don't know if you know, but Deutsche Bank has $75 trillion of derivatives. $75 trillion. And yet they only have a couple hundred billion in assets. Do you see that that's completely ridiculous? That's Deutsche Bank, the most powerful bank in Europe. They're, they're insolvent. And our banks are just as bad or worse. Next paragraph, Yellen's comment echo her earlier signals that the Fed has no intention of acting soon to raise its key target for short-term interest rates, even though the job market has strengthened and economic growth is poised to rebound this year. That is a complete lie. Complete lie. In the first quarter, we have negative growth. We're probably already in recession, even by their line standards. Economic growth is poised to rebound? You mean hockey stick, the same hockey stick that they've been saying for the past, since 2008. It's a complete lie. The Fed has kept short-term interest rates at a record low since December 2008. Now that's the Martin Kritzinger speaking. He puts Yellen's comments and his own comments in the same paragraph, which is bad English because a paragraph is supposed to be a complete thought. So it's either Yellen's thought or his thought. You don't put the same thoughts in the same paragraph. Next paragraph. At the same time, Yellen cautioned that her geo that geopolitical tensions, you mean all the wars that are going on? A renewal of financial stress in emerging markets. What, you mean China? Why don't you say China? China's falling apart. And a faltering housing recovery. Well, no, every bank is exiting housing lending because they're not making any money. There is no housing being sold. The reason the prices are going up and people can't afford it anymore. Look at the data. A faltering housing recovery posed potential threats. <laughs> potential? Next paragraph. While conditions in the labor market have improved appreciably, no, they have not, Miss Yellen. They have not improved one bit. They're still far from satisfactory, Yellen said. Even with recent declines in unemployment rate, it continues to be elevated. That is a complete lie, Ms. Yellen. There has been no decline in unemployment. The numbers are fabricated, and even the fabricated numbers are showing that we're in trouble. Three times as many people left the workforce than were added. That is not improving. Next paragraph, Yellen's testimony marked her first chance to discuss the economy since her first chance? She has no chance to say anything. All right. To discuss the economy since the Fed met last week and the government said Friday the economy added 288,000 jobs in April, the biggest hiring surge in two years. 
The unemployment rate dropped to 6.3%, its lowest point since 2008, from 6.7% in March. Unfortunately, that's complete fabrication. I just told you 900,000 people left the workforce. Most of those jobs, too, if you look at the report, they're part-time jobs. And say, if you lost a job, say, working at a large manufacturing plant, making a good salary, say $25 an hour, and then you went out and got a job working, driving a cab and delivering pizzas, and a third job cutting lawns, that means you actually added two jobs. They don't look at the household employment. They look at total employment. Why? Because it's a lie. Next paragraph. But the unemployment rate fell that far because fewer people began looking for work in April. Now that's the truth. This is the writer speaking, not Miss Yellen. They're more reducing the number of people employed. Absolutely, as I just explained. The proportion of Americans who either have a job or looking for one has reached a three-decade low. I just said that. That's the only true statement in this whole statement. Still, last week's Fed meeting, the central bank indicated that it saw signs of a strengthening economy. Complete lie. It approached a fourth $10 billion reduction in its monthly bond purchases of $45 billion, down from original $85 billion. That also is a lie. Somehow, the tiny nation of Belgium, Belgium, has bought $300 billion of securities since December. How is that possible? Think about it. The Fed has been buying bonds to keep short-term, long-term interest rates low. The Fed is expected to end its bond purchases by the end of the year. No, it isn't. I just explained what they're doing. They're buying it through other means. But even when it does, the Fed will maintain its holdings at a record level above $4 trillion, which says they're not changing a darn thing, thereby providing continued downward pressure on long-term rates. Well, we'll see what happens. They don't know what they're talking about. In its statement last week, the Fed reiterated its expectation that short-term rates would remain near zero for a considerable time. That means they're, consider they're going to continue to steal money from the poor and give it to the rich. In fact, I've told you in the past, Ms. Yellen was in favor of negative interest rates, which means that the common person who puts money in the bank will be stolen. You'll get less out than what you put in. And I tell you that they're going to start taking money from these accounts. Yellen repeated that language Wednesday. Many Americans who want a job are still employed. <laughs> yeah, they, yeah they, they, they want a job, yes. Well, then why are they leaving the workforce? Inflation continues to run below the central bank's longer-term objectives. No, it is not. I've just told you. All you need to go is go to the gas pump in the grocery store, and you can see that inflation is completely out of control. And work remains to further strengthen our financial system, she said. Well, yeah, they're, you're strengthening the financial system, I just told you, and they're complete thieves. They're taking everything they want, and they're laughing at you. Most economists expect the Fed to start raising its target for short-term interest rates in the second half of 2015. They can't even decide what's happening three months in advance. You're going to tell them what they're going to do a year and a half from now? No, they're going to do whatever they feel like. In a speech last month in New York, Yellen had stressed the need for the Fed to remain flexible in deciding how to manage interest rates. Translation, he has no idea what she's doing. She said that it was important to be able to respond to significant unexpected twists and turns the economy may take. Another indication, she has no idea what she's doing. Yellen said the Fed decides when it starts raising rates it would focus on the health of the job market. Well, I just explained to you, they're not even looking at the job market. They're looking at an unemployment rate, which is completely useless. They're not looking at even a household unemployment. They're looking at total number of jobs, which is completely useless. And whether inflation, now well below the Fed's target of 2%, it's like 10 times that Miss Yellen is on track to return to that level.
Yellen will face likely face questions Wednesday from Republicans over the Fed's strategy for eventually withdrawing the extraordinary support it provided for the economy. Uh, don't hold your breath. The Republicans aren't going to do anything. They're all in bed together. They're all thieves. Every one of them, the whole government, are thieves. I can tell you one of the things that's going to happen pretty soon. Did you see the thing about my IRA? Do you know why that's been put out there? My IRA? Because they need to strengthen their balance sheet. They know how much money they've printed. Their balance sheet looks horrible. That's one of the reasons they're cutting back. Do you know how they're going to improve their balance sheet? They're going to steal it. Just like Poland did. Just like the banks in Cyprus did. They're going to come for your IRA. And they're going to say, oh no, it's still there. It's still there. No, they're going to steal it. That's how they're going to decide to improve their balance sheet. And once they improve their balance sheet, what do you think they're going to do? Print more money, which does absolutely nothing. Last paragraph. Many Republicans have expressed concerns. <laughs> yeah, sure that the Fed's low-rate programs are raising the risks of financial market instability. It's coming, and high inflation in the future, in the future, it's already here. End of Martin Kruzenkur of the AP's following of Janet Yellen in the Fed meeting today.